Hello, this is Kindle Unlimited Reviews, and this is my review of Scholomance, The Devil's Academy, by Logan Jacobs. So I read the first two books of this series, and I did this review, like, right after I finished, so the information is fresh in my mind. The main character is named Cole, and he's a witch that goes to uh, the, Devil's, the Devil's Academy, uh, a school for witches. But he has no memory, and... He really doesn't know, know what he's doing there. Like, he just gets told that he's the chosen one and that he's supposed to, like, save or help them fight uh, the Elder Gods. That's real. Uh, it's a pretty dark book because uh, there's human sacrifices. These aren't friendly witches. They they kill. They, they get killed. But it's nothing uh, too edgy. Most of the time, they're just doing common spells and then for the final test, like, like, these captured prisoners come out and then they sacrifice those prisoners. The witches don't hesitate to do this because I guess they're born into this type of society and they actually look forward to doing the human sacrifices. Uh, Cole doesn't react in any way to this. Like, I guess it's because he doesn't have any memories, so he's a blank slate. But uh, he doesn't think too hard about doing what he has to in order to survive. But there's one scene during the end uh, where they sacrifice this village like just like that nobody debates about it but uh since since i do reviews right i think about certain scenes a bit too hard instead of just saying to myself okay dark scene move on i'm just like how would this work because you see these witches are living a, a cutthroat school they die if they fail tests quizzes exams or just mess up and so there shouldn't be a lot of them and they're, it's implied that they're kind of in trouble, like the they're on, they're on the losing side. So how can they can just teleport to a village, use a curse, plague everybody, and then done? Like, you think there'd be some consequences. But it seems like they they can't get away with whatever they want. But I guess I'm thinking too hard about it. Uh, one thing is that, despite being a pretty dark uh, book, like in terms of like, they're doing bloody spells, and they're not really any good people, the bullying is not really a big thing. You see that a lot in these uh, magical school books. There's a lot of bullying. Like, the girls only give uh, Cole, like, dark glares. Like, he's a human witch and a male. So they don't like him, but they just glare at him and, and curse him off and make it clear that they won't help him. But they don't They don't bully him. Like, if he's missing, like, textbooks and stuff, they, they give it to him. Uh, sometimes the teachers will give him, like, a hard question, but he, he studied the night before, so he answers it. He's pretty much amazing at everything. Uh, and he's the only one who could probably pass these tests. So what happens is uh, they they form a bond with these girls. And that this is where the harem part comes in. They're all, all the witches are basically sexy. And he forms a bond with them. So he's the master <laughs> and they're the slaves. So th that's where they're going with this book. It's a harem book. So lots of sex scenes and violence. That's what type of book it is. And... Because of that, they're all immortal now, as long as Cole survives. So I wouldn't read this for, like, to see the characters go through a struggle, because the witches are immortal, Cole is super powerful, and for some reason, despite the witches that should be in small in number and, you know, outnumbered, they seem to be doing okay. So, um, I would give this a book a read if you want something uh, a bit darker than your usual, um harem book but uh if you don't like that then i would avoid it i'll probably read the other two uh books in the series i think this is probably going to be a very long series because judging from the other reviews cole doesn't get answers about who he is for a long time and if i don't get those answers soon i'm probably not going to read on because it's like where's this going what's the point and another criticism is that since it's a dark book right it's one of those and the reasons why I don't read dark books is because nobody seems to care about anybody. And if they do, I don't buy it. Like, it's like, so the teachers are are uh, getting the students killed. The other students don't seem to care that much if other students get killed. They just move on with class. You know, a, gr a girl got her, her soul sucked out because she opened the book um, not improperly. And they just moved on. So it's like, okay. So they don't care. Nobody seems to care <laughs> if anyone dies. So it's like, why should I, right? Uh, Cole is not an anti-hero. Like, he's not a good guy. Nobody's a good guy in this book. I have no reason to care that the Witch Academy is going to go down. But I can see why Cole cares. 
because he does enjoy the power. And I think he's being manipulated too because he sees visions that help him connect with the witches. He's bonded to them. So I think he's being manipulated. He's like kidnapped from the good side and then indoctrinated into evil and then turned against uh, the the good guys. That's my theory. Uh, some other reviewers said that had that kind of theory as well, but probably not. <laughs> it's probably not right. So uh, the artwork for this book is very good. Uh, maybe that's why the books are going on so long. Maybe he, like he ordered a commission for like all the girls in the in the harem, so they gotta do at least four or five books. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's an okay book. I, I had a lot of criticisms criticisms of it, but I don't put uh, bad reviews onto this channel. Uh, I just want people to know uh, the cons, so when they read it, don't they don't you know get angry and leave a one star, you know. And uh, for people who don't like reading reviews, they can just listen to this one. Uh, this went on a bit uh, long because uh, I read two of these books in a row and I had much more information to relay to you guys. Uh, so thank you for listening to Kindle Nimble Reviews and I'll do my next review soon, I hope.